first. All right, Kaylee. Well, we were talking about it earlier. Obviously, rain is coming, and it's coming across West Texas right now. Yes. Kind of talk to me about it. How long is this going to last this evening? It's going to last overnight into tomorrow morning, which mm -hmm. is good news for our lawns. But take a look at the satellite radar. Now, this storm is coming through from the eastern part of our viewing area, passing through places like Big Spring and a little bit part of the northern basin right now. And it hasn't yet hit Odessa. It has been starting to hit the eastern part of Midland, though. But again, just seeing exactly where this storm first came from. It was the tropical storm that was first hitting Houston. Now it's making its way across Texas and getting closer to our viewing area. Now, because the eastern part of our viewing area is expected to see a large amount of heavy rain, well, there has been a flash flood watch been in effect for every area that is highlighted in green, which is, again, part of the eastern counties. And that flash flood watch is in effect until tomorrow around 7 p.m. So that does mean be cautious of flooded roadways and flooded roads in general. But seeing exactly how long this rain is going to last? Well, it is going to make its way into most of the viewing area later by tomorrow morning, early morning, around 4 a.m. Parts of Midland, Odessa, south of I-10, even the Trans-Pecos will start to see that heavy rainfall make its way through. And then, well, by lunchtime tomorrow, it is still going to be cloudy. And if you live south of I-10, still a large chance that you will be seeing some more of that heavy rain. But in the Permian Basin, the rain looks like it is going to make its way through. And then throughout the day tomorrow, south of I-10 will predominantly be seeing most most of that rainfall and those of us in the northern basin, southeast New Mexico, and the Permian Basin will not be looking to see any more of that rain. But the little bit of rain we're going to get overnight into tomorrow morning will definitely help out our drought monitor. Now, this drought monitor is updated every Thursday. So the northern basin still showing up orange, meaning it's showing up severe, and a little bit red, meaning it's showing up extreme. But here's a look at our temperatures. Now, it was cooler than average for most of the viewing area, mid to upper 80s for the Trans Pecos, but Midland Odessa only got to 83 as our high, Big Spring 77. And now we're not in the mid to upper 80s. We're not even in the mid to upper 70s. We are looking at temps in the mid to lower 70s. 71 for Midland and Odessa. 70 degrees for Winken. South of I-10, even cooler in the mid 60s. But tracking to see where we are now compared to this time yesterday, and we're actually showing up a little bit cooler by about three to six degrees. Again, because that storm is making its way through our viewing area, it is dropping our temperatures drastically. But seeing how cool it's going to get overnight into tomorrow morning, we're going to still remain in the mid to upper 60s. It really isn't going to get too cool for us. And then by lunchtime, we're going to warm right back up into the mid to lower 80s. But still, in the Permian Basin, we're going to remain in the mid to lower 80s. But south of I. 10, they will be seeing a large amount of heavy rainfall tomorrow. They're only going to stay into the mid to lower 70s, if not the mid to upper 60s. And looking at our wind speed, it is relatively breezy out there. 13 miles an hour for Midland and Odessa, 12 miles an hour for Wink. Overnight into tomorrow morning, it is going to decrease just a bit into the single digits and then work its way right back up into the mid to lower teens. But again, we started the day just slightly warmer than average in the mid to upper 60s and ended it at 83. Cooler than average, but is this going to be the trend for tomorrow? It definitely is going to be the trend. Another cooler than average day, 80 degrees for Andrews, as well as Seminole, 82 for La Mesa. Midland and Odessa forecast it to be 80 degrees as well. But take a look at Barstow, Monahans, Grand Falls, all in the mid to upper 70s. Definitely another cooler than average day. Pecos, 78. Balmeray, 73. And then we have the mountains in the mid to upper 60s. Alpine, only getting to be 68. Now, here's our look at the seven day forecast. 80 degrees tomorrow. I'm very excited with some more rain chances. And then on Monday, we're back up into the upper 80s, but still 10% chance. I'm holding on to that on Monday. And then the following weekend, 86 on Friday, 85 on Saturday, with another slight 10% chance. I am liking those temperatures. Now, I have to warn our viewers, fall isn't until September 22nd. Yeah, and I wouldn't call these fall temperatures. No. But they're getting there. They're getting there, yeah. which is exciting. There you go. Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate it. Well, heck,